Montana DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. Fill in the blank. Can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle. A. Alcohol B. Illegal drugs C. Prescription medication D. All of these 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Prescription medication, illegal drugs, and alcohol can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle. Question 2. When should you use both front and rear brakes to stop? A. On hills and curves. B. In emergencies only. C. Never at the same time. D. At all times, unless you have a flat tire. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. You should use both front and rear brakes to stop at all times. Both brakes are the most effective way to stop. If you know which tire is flat, gradually apply the other brake. Question 3. The safest formation when riding in a group is A. The staggered formation B. The V formation C. In pairs D. Single file 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best formation when riding in a group is the staggered formation. It allows you to stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 4. The best way to be seen by other drivers is to A. Wear a bright helmet B. Ride in the left lane position C. Make sure your headlight is turned on D. Only ride during the day 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best way to be seen by other drivers is to make sure your headlight is turned on. Question 5. If your front tire fails while you are riding, you should A. Shift your weight to the front to help maintain stability. B. Use engine braking to slow down. C. Avoid using the rear brake. D. Shift your weight to the rear to help maintain stability. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If your front tire fails while you are riding, you should shift your weight to the rear to help maintain stability. Question 6. To help balance yourself in turns, you should a. Take your feet off the footrests for balance. B. Keep your knees against the gas tank. C. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn. D. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. To help balance yourself in turns. You should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 7. Which of the following is an OT part of the upshifting process? A. Ease out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. B. Gently apply the front brake while adjusting the throttle. C. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go. D. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. To upshift, you should 1. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch, 2. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go, and 3. Ease out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. You do not need to apply the brake. Question 8. The positions within a lane that are available to a motorcycle are a left and right. 
B1, 2, 3, and 4. C left, center, and right. D center only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. In each lane of traffic, there are three positions available to a motorcycle, left, right, and center. Question 9. When traveling in heavy congested traffic, what is an adequate space cushion between yourself and the vehicle ahead? A. 2 seconds B. 3 seconds C. 4 seconds D. 1 second 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When traveling in heavy congested traffic, an adequate space cushion is at least 4 seconds. Question 10. The least effective method of attaching cargo to your motorcycle is by using A. Tank banks B. Saddle banks C. Ropes D. Elastic cords 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. You should avoid attaching cargo to a motorcycle with ropes. Ropes can loosen over time and knots can come undone. It is best to use elastic cords. Question 11. Which of the following can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle? A. Prescription medication. B. Over the counter medication. C. Alcohol and drugs. D. All these answers are correct. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Prescription medication. Over the counter medication. Alcohol, and drugs can all affect your ability to ride. Question 12. Blind intersections can be dangerous because A. Other vehicles will have difficulty seeing you in certain areas. B. U-turns are not permitted. C. They are high-speed intersections. D. They are not controlled by traffic signs. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Blind intersections are dangerous because other vehicles will have difficulty seeing you from certain areas. Question 13. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to A. Drive only during the day. B. Drink beverages with caffeine. C. Avoid making long trips. D. Take frequent rest breaks. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to take frequent rest breaks. Riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car. Take the time to get off and stretch. Question 14. What does the SIPDE Driver Judgment acronym stand for? A. Scan, Identify, Predict, Decide, Execute. B. Scan, Identify, Proceed, Direct, Execute. C. C. Identify, Predict, Decide, Examine. D. C. Identify, proceed, direct, examine. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. SIPDE stands for scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. Question 15. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn end. 
A. Keep your body straight. B. Lean in the opposite direction of the turn. C. Pull in the clutch. D. Lean in the direction of the turn. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To turn your motorcycle, you should press on the hand grip in the direction of the turn and lean in the direction of the turn. Question 16. It is important that a passenger A. Keep his or her feet on the foot pegs. B. Lean as the motorcyclist leans. C. Sit as far forward as possible. D. Do all of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is important that a passenger sit as far forward as possible, keep his or her feet on the foot pegs even when stopped, and lean as the motorcyclist leans. Question 17. If you suspect the road ahead is slippery, what should you do? A. Slow down before reaching the slippery section. B. Use only your rear brake. C. Stop your bike and walk it across the slippery section. D. Stop and turn around. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If you suspect the road ahead is slippery, you should slow down as much as possible before reaching the slippery section. Question 18. The safest place to ride in the rain is A. In the tire tracks of other drivers B. On main roads only C. On the shoulder of the road D. In the center lane position 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The safest place to ride in the rain is in the tire tracks of other drivers. They are least likely to be slippery. Question 19. If you are being followed by a tailgater and he or she is not able to pass you, you should A. Increase your following distance B. Flash your brake lights C. Call the police D. Pull over and stop 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If you are being followed by a tailgater and he or she is not able to pass you, you should increase your following distance so both of you will have enough room to stop if there is a hazard. Question 20. Which of the following statements about crossing an intersection is true? A. Always ride with your headlight off. B. Select a lean position that will most increase your visibility to other drivers. C. Always count on eye contact as a sign that a driver will yield. D. Increase your speed as you approach an intersection. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Reduce your speed as you approach an intersection. Increase your chances of being seen at the intersection. Ride with your headlight on in a lean position that provides the best view of oncoming traffic. Never count on eye contact as a sign that a driver will yield. Question 21. When starting a motorcycle facing uphill, you should change to fill in the blank to hold the cycle while operating the throttle with the right hand. A. Either the handbrake or foot brake. B. The foot brake. C. Both brakes. D. The handbrake. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. It is more difficult to get the motorcycle moving on an upgrade than it is on flat ground. There is always a danger of rolling backward and into another vehicle. Remember these steps, 
One use the front brake to hold the motorcycle while starting the engine and shifting into first gear. Two change to the foot brake to hold the motorcycle while operating the throttle with the right hand. Three for more power, open the throttle a little bit. Four release the clutch gradually. The front wheel may come off the ground, or the engine may stop, or both, if it is released too quickly. 5. Release the foot brake when the engine begins to slow down and the motorcycle begins to move forward. Question 22. When riding through a turn, you should turn. A. Your head and shoulders. B. Your whole upper body. C. Your head only. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When riding through a turn, move your head only. Moving your shoulders or upper body may turn the motorcycle more than you want to. Question 23. Pavement is likely to be slippery. A. On a windy day. B. On multi-lane roads. C. Soon after it has started to rain. D. In rural areas. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. Pavement is likely to be slippery soon after it has started to rain. This is because oil and other fluids that have built up are washing off the pavement. Question 34. If the rear wheel locks, you should A. Increase the throttle B. Grab the front brake C. Not release the brake D. Release the brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. Question 25. Help balance your motorcycle while turning by. A. Keeping both knees against the gas tank. B. Dragging your feet on the ground. C. Leaning the opposite way of the motorcycle. D. Doing all of these things. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Use your knees to help balance while turning by keeping them against the gas tank. Question 26. Ride more safely at night by A. Reducing your speed and decreasing your following distance. B. Increasing your speed and increasing your following distance. C. Reducing your speed and increasing your following distance. D. Increasing your speed and decreasing your following distance. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Ride more safely at night by reducing your speed and increasing your following distance. Question 27. Which of the following present is the greatest danger to the motorcyclist? A. Overpasses and tunnels. B. Bicycles on the side of the road. C. Motorcycle chain problems. D. Oncoming traffic turning left in front of you. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. One of the biggest dangers for motorcycles is oncoming traffic turning left in front of you. Exercise caution when driving through intersections. Question 28. When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, what should you do? A. Ride in the center lane position. B. Swerve from side to side. C. Flash your brake light. D. Use and signals. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Answer A. When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, you should ride in the center lane position to discourage the driver from lane sharing. Question 29. If you brake hard on a straightaway and your rear wheel locks. A. Release the brake and only use the front brake. B. Keep the rear wheel locked until stopped. C. Release all brakes and coast to a stop. D. Pull the engine kill switch. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. If you accidentally lock the rear brake on a good traction surface, keep it locked until you have completely stopped. Even with a locked rear wheel, you can control the motorcycle on a straightaway if it is upright and going in a straight line. Question 30. To stop safely on a curb, you should A. Straighten the motorcycle so that it is perpendicular to the surface of the road. B. Take your feet off the foot pegs for balance. C. Keep your knees against the gas tank. D. Lean the opposite way of the motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To stop safely on a curb, straighten the motorcycle so that it is as perpendicular to the surface of the road as possible. Stopping while leaning can be dangerous. Question 31. Choosing the best lane position helps you to A. Avoid road hazards. B. Stay out of blind spots. C. Communicate what you plan to do. D. All these answers are correct. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Choosing the best lane position helps you to stay out of blind spots, avoid road hazards, and communicate what your next move will be. Question 32. How does carrying a passenger change your motorcycle? A. The motorcycle takes longer to react to changes. B. A passenger helps balance the motorcycle. C. The motorcycle will slow down more quickly. D. A passenger makes the motorcycle go faster. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Passengers increase the weight on the motorcycle. Therefore, it takes the motorcycle longer to react to changes like slowing down and stopping. Question 33. Grabbing the front brake could result in A. A rear wheel lock B. A front wheel lock C. Pupping a tire D. Stopping quickly 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Grabbing the front brake can result in a front wheel lock. Apply the brake with steady pressure. Question 34. What are two ways to avoid obstacles in your path? A. Sliding and skidding. B. Sliding and swerving. C. Stopping and swerving. D. Stopping and sliding. 5. 4. 3 2 1 Answer C. Stopping and swerving are two ways to avoid obstacles in your path. Always brake before or after swerving, but never while swerving. Question 35. Which surface provides less traction than normal road conditions? A. Wet pavement. B. Metal gratings. C. Uneven surfaces. D. All of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. 
you are more likely to fall when riding on wet pavement, metal gratings, or uneven surfaces because they do not provide as much traction. Question 36. When riding with a passenger, how should you adjust your control of the motorcycle? A. Ride slower. B. Ride faster. C. Only ride in the left of the lane position. D. Only ride in the center of the lane position. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You should ride slower when carrying a passenger. Question 37. What controls the front brake? A. The right hand lever. B. The left hand lever. C. The left foot pedal. D. The right foot pedal. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Question 38. Is it safe to ride alongside each other in the same lane? A. No, because it is illegal to share a lane with another vehicle. B. Yes, because motorcycles are smaller than cars. C. No, because sharing a lane will not leave you enough room to maneuver. D. Yes, because you will be able to communicate with each other better. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When riding with a group of motorcycles, it is not safe to pair up as there will be no place to maneuver to avoid a hazard in the roadway. You require a full length to maneuver. Question 39. Rolling on the throttle in a turn. A is used to pass other vehicles. B helps to stabilize the motorcycle. C should only be done in emergencies. D is done while changing gears. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Rolling on the throttle in a turn helps to stabilize the motorcycle. Question 40. When is it most important to check your mirrors? A. While you are stopped at an intersection. B. When you are preparing to change lanes. C. When you are decreasing your speed. D. In all of the above situations. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. It is important to check your mirrors when you are about to change lanes, about to slow down, or stop at an intersection. Question 41. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways, but the first effect is to your A. Judgment B. Balance C. Vision D. Reaction time 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways, but the first effect is to your judgment. Even if you do not feel other effects, you could be making dangerous decisions. Question 42. In order to avoid hazardous situations, you should A. Be able to swerve B. Watch other vehicles C. Avoid carrying passengers D. Search the road ahead 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. In order to avoid hazardous situations, you should search the road ahead for possible hazards and dangers you may be approaching. Question 43. Motorcycle groups larger than, fill in the blank.
people should split into smaller groups. A6 B3 C2 D5 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Motorcycle groups larger than 4 or 5 people should split into smaller groups. Question 44. When can you ride side by side with another motorcycle? A. When traffic is heavy. B. When you are riding in a group. C. When you are riding with a new rider. D. Never. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Although motorcycles are smaller than cars, they still need a full lean width. Hence, it is never safe to ride side by side with another motorcycle. Question 45. When looking where you want to turn, you should A. Reduce your speed before the turn. B. Turn your head, not your shoulders, in the direction of the intended turn. C. Keep your eyes level with the horizon. D. Do all of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When looking where you want to turn, turn your head, not your shoulders, in the direction of the intended turn. Moving your shoulders or upper body may turn the motorcycle more than you want to. Keep your eyes level with the horizon and reduce your speed before the turn. Question 46. How can you prevent yourself from using too much throttle? A. Only ride in lower gears. B. Start with your right wrist raised. C. Keep the clutch pulled in. D. Start with your right wrist flat. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. You can help prevent yourself from using too much throttle by starting with your right wrist flat. Question 47. When approaching an intersection, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to a. Keep the clutch pulled in when not accelerating. B. Cover the clutch and the brake. C. Avoid wearing a full face helmet. D. Avoid using the highest gear. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. When you are in a hazardous situation, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to cover the clutch and brake. Question 48. To maintain a safe riding distance on the road, you should look forward, fill in the blank, ahead of your travel path. A. 40 seconds. B. 12 seconds. C. 25 seconds. D. 60 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. To maintain a safe riding distance on the road, you should look 12 seconds ahead of your travel path. Question 49. If you are about to collide with an object, and you wish to get the motorcycle to lean quickly to the right, you should. A. Pull the right handle grip toward you. B. Pull the left handle grip toward you. C. Push the inside of the right handle grip. D. Push the inside of the left handle grip. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If you are about to collide with an object, and you wish to get the motorcycle to lean quickly to the right, you should push the inside of the right hand out grip. Question 50. In order to safely carry a passenger on your motorcycle, what must you have? A. Adequate seat room and separate foot pegs. B. 
Heavy duty shocks. C. A special passenger license. D. Passenger eye protection. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. In order to safely carry a passenger on your motorcycle, you must have adequate seat room for the passenger and a separate set of foot pegs. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.